Hi everyone. I am Santosh. Today we are going to study basics of C programming. Okay, in the last video we have seen how to write algorithms. What is algorithm? And it is a step by step procedure to solve the problem. Okay. Today we are going to study what is actually C programming and why the name is C. Okay. Let us start. C programming language is a computer language which is used to communicate with the computer. Simple. For example, when we are talking with people, we will use the language that is English or Hindi or Kannada so that we can communicate with them easily. Even we can control them with the language like that we need to learn C language to have a control over computer because later on I want to make a computer to work according to my instructions that's why I have to learn its language that is C language or you may learn other languages but I consider C language as the father of all languages because this is the base of all languages that's why I have started with this course okay and let us see why the name is C why they have put in the name called C okay to know about this we need to know about the history of C okay in 1960s there was a programming language called Algol means it is a algorithmic language which was developed by international group and then in 1967 there was again a better language called BCPL. BCPL means Basic Combined Programming Language which was developed by Martin Richards. And the further improvement they have put in B language. B means Basic Language which is developed in 1970s by Ken Thompson. And later on in 1972 Dennis Ritchie and Brian Kernighan they have developed the improved version of B language that is C language just you can see it is the next alphabet after B they have taken the name directly from that pattern and they have given the name as C simple and you can see Dennis Ritchie and Brian Kernighan on the screen they have developed C language in USA okay you can see C language was developed in 1972 at AT&T's Bell Lab USA AT&T means it is a American telephone and telegraph company where the C language was developed okay let us see why we need to learn C because if you want to develop some of the smaller applications like calculator or billing applications or some of the applications which can help you in the real world even you can even you can write the applications which are harder also but for that you need to learn basics of C and after learning C language you can easily develop some simple applications like as a as I have told you calculator application billing application and I want to show that how the calculator application will be okay let us see calculator application will look like this 
just you need to enter two numbers 7 and 5 I have entered and automatically your program will show you the result or some billing example I have taken billing application just the program will ask you to enter the product name enter rate and enter quality based on the formula you have entered in the program the bill is calculated it will be shown on the screen these are the simple applications you can develop you can also develop harder applications but for that you need to learn the elements of C and I want to ask you the question that is or you may ask yourself is C difficult no it is the easiest of all languages to learn if you know how to write C programs you can easily write Python programs because this is the base of all languages you can also write Java programs you can also write C++ programs but this is like base of all languages only the syntax will change only the way of writing will change